This month at Zenlist, we're focusing on advanced searches. Any good advanced search is gonna begin with the locations. Now, we all know you can add your locations here. These are your cities, towns, schools, zip codes, counties, all of that fun stuff. But did you know in this locations bar, there's also an option to recenter your map over a point of interest or to add an address range to be within a certain street or a specific condo building? You can also custom draw locations up in the top right hand corner, and these can be saved to your account for future use. So you can build your own library of specific locations that can be applied to any search, including a radius or mileage search using that circle draw tool. You can exclude certain locations from your map. So let's say not this zip code, but you can also intersect two different shapes to create a custom boundary where they overlay. So if it's a city plus a high school zone, you can create a custom boundary of where both of those locations are true. In the bottom right corner, there's a layers tab, which will show you transit lines. And once you've got your locations all settled, you'll move into filtering. Advanced filtering can begin by searching for a specific filter right here. This will take you right where you're looking for, let's say parking, for instance. Now you can also exclude filter options. So let's say it must not be well water, must be new construction. You can even search for additional statuses like closed listings. And if you combine that with the months back filter, you can see a set of six months worth of closed listings, 12 months, etc. Once you've added all of your filters, you move into advanced saving of searches. Now, before we even touch the save search button, we're gonna preview these listings and you can do that by using the map tile list view. And this list view, did you know, could be customized. You can add certain fields, reorder them, sort by different views. All of that can be customized right here. And you can take it a step further to select certain listings. And maybe you want to send these in chat. Maybe you wanna save them to your own feed to see when they close. You can do all of that from any view. Now, when you save the search, it's important to know that your clients can have as many searches running as they like. So if this is their 12th or 100th search, it's not gonna have any impact on their account. They can have as many as they want, so you'll just click on the name and it's not gonna cause any problems. You'll have an additional option to include current listings with the search results, which is gonna include everything that currently matches this criteria. After a search has been saved, you can also duplicate it or run a copy of it to save it somewhere else. So let's say I have a search for my market saved to my personal agent feed, and I wanna use that as a template. So I'll just duplicate the search, make whatever changes I need to, and then save search. And this time I'm gonna choose my client. And as a little cherry on top, did you know that you can set a default map location? This is pretty new, and this is gonna allow you to set a location for where your map centers when you open the search tab. And also in your mobile app, you can pull up your current location using your device's GPS to search nearby where you are in this moment. I hope you'll join us for our webinar this Thursday at 11 a.m. Central Time. We're gonna be covering all of these different capabilities in much more detail using real life examples from agents just like yourself. So if you have time, I hope you'll join us live. If not, put your name on the list. It will send you the recording so that you've got it in your back pocket. And we hope to see you there.